like something, you will do it. I think that's what keeps my uh, films going, my stories, because I find it fun. I always said that I wanted to make a film. I felt that I could actually do something in this industry, uh, since that it's sort of non-existence right now. I think for me, I think, and also those people behind the story, is that whoever sees it, as long as you feel something for it, and then your perspective change as a result of it, and it's all worthwhile. Singapore is a very young filmmaking industry. And if you work downwards, a lot of our filmmakers are, are within the age of 20 and 30. It's almost like quite vogue to be a filmmaker, but there are quite a few that I, I feel have potential, you know, to actually go into feature films. They may have to make a few more short films, but um, there's definitely talent. I think the climate for the Singapore film industry is actually quite exciting. According to the Singapore Film Commission, there's, I think, a total of 15 feature film in production now. You sort of get a buzz when you, when you see your own stuff uh, on screen. And so we asked our friend Kei Chin, hey, do you have a story that we could use? He said, yeah, yeah, I have something that I wrote like 13 years ago. Okay, then sent us the thing we read, okay. So I said to Terence, you know, how about we change this to local context? You know, it was, the story was becoming Kappa. So we just started making films and did all that splicing and did all that like cutting together thing and there was an open call to invite filmmakers to submit a previous work uh, for selection. When that happened, I then decided to yeah, go ahead and re-adapt the feature film for Taxi Driver into a short. And that's how this Si Lu, which is called Crossroads, came about. I like to tell stories uh, which are real or stories that people can relate to. Zhou Kang uh, is about a guy who he wants to be a filmmaker while he has his day jobs and through his journey you can actually see a lot of things that happen to him and you know and the restrictions about uh, what he can do in Singapore in regard to filmmaking and stuff and it's funny and there's a lot of crap. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm here today to meet Wendy, the number one casting director in Singapore because she has all this resource of people that I can look for uh, for my class. I mean, I totally wanna want this this girl to be like. Because you have had this before many times. Fresh face, yeah, beautiful. Okay, what kind of budget do you have to work with? Let's see, do you have like a thousand dollars for talent? That kind of thing? No. Okay. Right now it's, uh, you tell me how much, then I reach into the, the budget, budget call. Yeah. The budget call is my, my POSB thing. <laughs> right. I'm applying for the city grant, uh, it's just taking its time. But it will come. I always try also to, you know, go via the, the film commission grant, so I, I write in, you know, and get a little bit to, to cover things like hire of the taxi, which I know I need to pay, and meals and transport, which can come out to quite a substantial amount if I, you know, decided to self-finance, I'll be probably you know, be in trouble. We try to get money from the film commission, and then we realise that we don't fit the criteria because you have to make two short films before. So money came out from myself and Wendy. Um, and then halfway through, after nine days of shoot, we ran out of money. Uh, we got sort of desperate because we couldn't even complete the story. So we put together what, what, what I call an investor trailer. And then just show it to people and say, OK, you know, we are doing this and we have money. Do you want to uh, invest in us? As a underground filmmaker, I don't have much resources. So I try to make do with what I have. I don't have a lot of things to make it complicated. It's the essence of the story that matters the most, so we try to make use of limited resources and equipment, you know, make use of what I have and within my means. All right, stand by. 
Sinus and set. Stone is speed. Right. Action. Okay. Ready, roll. Rolling. Okay, and action. Smoke and walk. Go. Action. So nobody should be working on a Sunday except people like us. We're rigging the cap and it's raining. It's the first day and we get this shit. Sorry. I'm not very happy with the weather right now. Uh, the weather suddenly rained, so we have to find somewhere else. We're going somewhere else over there instead of over there. We are supposed to shoot at an open place, but now we are shooting at a sheltered place which looks like an open place because it's raining. That's a $9,700 camera sitting on top of the cab. So what we're doing is uh, we're setting up uh, mounts in various positions of the cab. So we're taking various angles in the cab as it's driving by. So half an hour will work for a few seconds. Cut. And we're gonna go in just like that without any permit and sh shoot the MRT or underpass. We shot in a very crowded place in Orchard Road and nobody chased us away so it was good. Just five minutes ago I asked Ming whether he would have for me. He was just having lunch. So he said, okay, so he and my main character will do the same. Uh, I'm very fortunate because I'm also in the industry, so I have the privilege to, to you know, work and befriend a lot of people over a long period of time. So the crew consists of mainly these people. We were fortunate that the people around us are already in the creative industry and, and a lot of them are doing video production or have studied filmmaking. Everybody else just came on board, like, you know, after a while, hey, like, very fun, let's just come there. About, at, at any one time, there are about 20 people on set, which is pretty amazing, seeing how a lot of uh, local films were made with, like, a crew of five. Sometimes the, the cast doubles up as, as one of the crew members. Okay, why is my cameraman Shenny Coates? Because he's the lead character in my film as well. As the day went by, more and more of the crew went home, so no choice. The actors have to, we have to switch through at least, it was like that. Anyone who's not in the shot will win the camera.